Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. How many of you want for something to change in your life in 2018? In order for us to change, in the way that God desires for us to. We have to understand the process of how God changes our lives. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, the first word of change is urgency. There are times in which God wants to do something in my life. He wants to change me, he wants to work in my life, but I miss it because I hesitate. I miss what God wanted to do in my life. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, is the second word of change, is mercy. What Paul is encouraging us to do is to bring God's mercy and put it in the rear view mirror of our lives and put it in the view of what's in front of us in the future. But his mercy is so good that he has actually been able to take the worst mistakes of my life and use them for good. That he can take that and he's changing me by his mercy. It's new every single day from the inside out. You and I have no hope of change apart from the mercy of Jesus. To offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Here's the third word of change is sacrifice. There's no change that happens in our lives without there being some sacrifice, some dying to myself and my own selfish ambition. There's no change that can happen in my life and no change that I can keep without there being some sacrifice involved that the essence of the Christian message is not that you and I offer repeatedly dead things to God thinking that that is going to change our lives but that you and I would become alive in Jesus and become a living sacrifice this is your true and proper worship worship is that fourth word of change he's like here's what worship is it's a way of life it is us giving ourselves completely and entirely to Jesus we increase our awe of who God is and an abandonment to self as my my awe of God increases, my abandonment to self also increases. But be transformed, be changed completely and entirely by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. Renewing. Here's what's so crucial to change is renewing. Not that you have just been renewed, but the ongoing process of renewing. For you to keep the change, you have to keep changing. Simple disciplines done with the right spirit creates significant change. That's that process of renewing, urgency, mercy, sacrifice, worship, and renewing. There are five words of change that help us keep the change.